Hello and welcome back to California Care. Today we are going to talk about a pediatric injection technique that saves a lot of agony and trouble both for the patient and for the operator. Normally if we are working on the lower molars on a pediatric patient who has lower first primary and lower first or second primary molars, uh, it is recommended that you give an inferior alveolar nerve block. To have a child open up the mouth and try to give an injection in the back of the throat could be psychologically very hard as well as kind of hard to manipulate on a child. So what we have to discuss is how to avoid that situation. On an adult, let's look at the skull. You know that uh, wherever the primary first and second molars are, that is exactly where the permanent first and second premolar will erupt. So primary molars are actually permanent premolars, if you would. They're sitting in the same place. We also know that the permanent premolars can be anesthetized uh, pulpal anesthesia wise and facial anesthesia wise by using the mental foramen. Mental foramen supplies a nerve supply to the first premolar as well as the second premolar and all the anterior teeth as well. On children, they'll get the first adult molar at six years of age, which will be first permanent molar. And that does not come until first six years and then it continues that you have the second molar behind and the third molar behind that. So if you're working on primary molars or any of the primary teeth on the lower arch in that quadrant, you don't have to have the patient open the mouth and give inferior alveolar nerve block. You can suffice by giving a mental nerve block. And for that, we use a small needle. Not too long, medium would be fine. And you will go in on the facial, right between the first and second primary molar, and you go deep in. And if you see right here, you're going about 75% of the length of the needle from the CEJ, or almost full length from the occlusion. Now, on a primary molar, you don't even need to go to full length. But if you do go to the full length, you'll be able to get all the way to the mental foramen. On adults, the mental foramen is small because you have ossification in there. But on a primary dentition or on a child, this mental foramen is even larger. So please take this into consideration that if you are trying to work on any of the primary pediatric teeth, including the molars, canines, and the incisors, all you need to do is on the lower arch, give a mental nerve block and that will suffice. Thank you.